What's up guys, Questler here, and today I'm going to be going over five software that every indie game developer needs. First and foremost, every indie game developer needs a game engine of some kind, whether it's Unity, Unreal Engine, Game Maker Studio, or some other game engine, such as CryEngine or something along those lines. These pieces of software are incredibly important for making games. If you don't have a game engine, you can't create a video game. Some of the more popular game engines among indie game developers are Unity, Unreal Engine, Game Maker Studio, just to name a few. I recommend Unreal Engine or Unity personally because I have personal experience in those game engines and I have used them both extensively to make games. And both of them are very powerful game engines and are very useful for making games. Such as my game, The Amazing Ball. I'm using Unreal Engine to make it and it has suited my needs very nicely, including making the graphics look quite nice and it is quite easy to use and... Personally, I enjoy using Unreal Engine. Uh, Unity is also really good too, especially for trying to make a 2D game. Uh, Unity has 3D capabilities, but I personally believe that Unity is more suited for 2D and its simplistic design and um, easy to use interface makes it easy to make games and get started very quickly. So those are my two recommendations for game engines. The second piece of software that every indie game developer needs is some sort of photo editing software, whether it's GIMP, Photoshop, Paint.net, or some other photo editing software. You're gonna need these software for making game art, for marketing, 2D art if you're making a 2D game, UI elements for your interfaces, and so much more. Depending on the game you're making, Different photo softwares may suit your needs a bit better. For example, if you're making an 8-bit style 2D side-scroller, then you might want to consider using Acebrite or some other 2D pixel art software. Um, if you're making professional game art for Steam for your Steam page, uh, you might want to consider using Photoshop or Affinity Photo or something along those lines. Do keep in mind that Photoshop is also quite capable of making... Uh, 2D art also. If you're looking to make pixel art, you can also use Photoshop for the, for that kind of artwork as well. And same thing with Affinity Photo. Many of these uh, photo editing softwares have these capabilities, and you can choose the size of your artwork and do really what you want with it. But my point is, is that if you're making a 2D side scroller that is an 8-bit style, a sprite might be a better option for you, or some other eight you know pixel art software might actually be a little bit easier to use and have an easier interface and also do what you're looking to do maybe a little bit easier and better than Photoshop or um, Affinity Photo or something along those lines. However, there are also some free options to Photoshop and Affinity Photo, such as GIMP or Paint.net, and I'm sure there are many more out there. I'm sure there are online options as well that you can go on the internet and make your photos real quickly or your images or whatever that you need uh, real quickly on the internet. Um, that are there and available to use. But, I mean, those things exist, and Photoshop runs just for the photography photography plan from uh, Adobe is $10 a month. And if you're looking to use other Adobe software in there as well, it can run up, run you up even higher. You know, for the entire Creative Cloud suite, it's like $53 a month. That is quite expensive. So, and there are other options out there. And if you're looking to just pay once and have the photo software for good, Affinity Photo is also a great alternative and can do much of the same things that Photoshop can do. The third piece of software that every indie game developer needs, in my opinion, is some sort of 3D modeling software, especially if you're making a 3D game. Uh, some of these software can include Blender, 3ds Max, uh, Maya, and there are so many more. Uh, 3D modeling is very important if you're making a 3D game because you really can't make a 3D game without your 3D models. And these software are absolutely necessary. If you're looking for a free option, Blender is the way to go. You can even get it on Steam. It's just there, and you can use it. You can use it, or you can go to Blender's website and uh, download it from there. Uh, if you're looking for a paid option that is also very powerful, 3ds Max is a wonderful option, and I'm sure even Adobe offers some sort of 3D modeling software. Also, if you're looking for the Creative Cloud suit, I'm pretty sure they also have an option there too. If you're looking for that. Uh, these softwares are incredibly hard to use, unfortunately, and they have a very steep learning curve, and it can take years to master these software and to make truly stunning 3D models for your games. However, if you're just making any game, you're probably not going to need crazy 3D models that they have in the AAA games, such as Call of Duty or Skyrim or something along those lines. Those games have, you know, many 3D modelists and stuff making those models and stuff. So, but if you are making a small 3D game, you definitely are going to need a 3D modeling software. And my recommendation here is Blender. It's a free option and it works. And it works really well for making your 3D models. And you can even make animations in these software too, if you're needing to animate your 3D, uh, 3D models. And also, on a side note, some of the game engines can also do this stuff too. 
uh, I think Unreal Engine and both Unity have animation aspects in them that you can animate your, your models and even 2D artwork if you're needing to animate those. The fourth piece of software that I think every indie game developer needs uh, is some sort of video editing software. If you intend on releasing your game on Steam or iOS, Android, or even PlayStation or Xbox, you're definitely going to need a trailer and even maybe even a few trailers. And some sort of video editing software is going to be needed. If you're going the Photoshop route, you might want to look into getting the entire Creative Cloud suite. Uh, it comes with not only Photoshop, but Premiere Pro and After Effects. And utilizing these software together can make truly stunning and captivating trailer for your games. However, if you're not looking to pay the whopping $53, then you might want to look for a free or a one-time paid solution. Magic's uh, Vegas Movie Studio is a good solution, only costing $70 for the Platinum version. And if you feel you need the Pro version... You can also go for the pro version, costing only $300 more. However, there are also free solutions to the software, and some of them are even online. And you can edit your video online and do that stuff there. Or there are other software that you can download. But I honestly would suggest going with a paid option, since the softwares are typically more robust and easier to use. And personally, my recommendation for the cheapness of the software and the capabilities that it's capable of is Magic's Movie Studio. It's very easy to use, it's not complicated, and I it's powerful as well. And I think that if you're making a trailer, um, most likely you're going to be taking footage from your game engine and you know, editing it and chopping it up and doing some basic editing to make your uh, your trailer and obviously adding some music to it as well. So I think uh, my recommendation here is Magic's Movie Studio. Um, it's it's a good option. It's cheap. It's only $70 for the Platinum version. And sometimes it can even bundle in a music-making software in there too, which leads me on to the next section that we're going to be going over. The last item on the list, uh, music-making software. What game does not have some sort of music track playing while you're playing the game? Not many, right? Uh, so I feel indie game developers need some sort of music making software. Some of these software might come with your video editing software, actually, like I just mentioned before. Uh, Magic's Movie Studio comes sometimes with Magic's Movie uh, Music Maker bundled in there with it. And if you're looking for a more a professional and better option, FL Studio is also a wonderful option. Um, but there are also free options out there. There are some websites that allow you to make uh, small little music snippets and stuff and allow you to have drop-in tracks and stuff that'll make it really easy to make an interesting song for your games. And some of them are even, you know, you can either pay for them or royalty-free, and you can totally use them and make some very interesting uh, songs for your game. But, I mean, still, uh, if you're trying to make a more professional game, you're probably going to want, um, especially if you plan on releasing it on a platform such as Steam, you're definitely going to want a more professional music option. So, but these softwares can also allow you to make sounds and such for your game, too. Um, I mean, heck, you could even use Audacity to make your sounds for your game if you're needing game sounds. And, you know, some of these sounds, you're going to need game sounds, so... And the software allow you to manipulate them and make them interesting and unique if you are needing to do that. Since they are music-making software, they also allow for audio editing as well. So these softwares have many capabilities and are definitely needed if you are intending on making a video game. Overall, I feel that all these softwares are important and you are definitely going to need at least some sort of the software that I have listed here. You're going to need a game engine for sure. Um, if you're not making a 2D, if you're not making a 3D game, you're not going to need a 3D uh, modeling software. But you're definitely going to need a photo editing software for sure. Um, I think all in all, the the f you're going to need definitely a game engine, photo editing software, uh, a video editing software, and some sort of music making software to make your games. Um, you may not need a 3D modeling software if you're making a 2D game, but if you're making a 3D game, you're definitely going to need that and I know on this list I didn't mention animation software, but there are many animation softwares out there, and it is worth mentioning that they exist. But Photoshop, if you're depending on the artwork that you're making for the game, can allow you to make multiple, um, you know, multiple layers that you can use to animate your sprites, especially if it's 2D pixel art. And A Sprite even offers some sort of animation software for your sprites as well. And even if you don't use those software for that unity and unreal engine both have animators in them that you can animate your 3d models and uh your 2d sprites in just the engine themselves 
So I didn't feel it was that big of a deal to not mention these software, but if you really need software to you know animate, Maya is also a wonderful option also. But some of those softwares can run you thousands of dollars and are very expensive because they are very professional solutions. So I'm just saying most of us indie game developers are on a budget and we can't really afford thousands of dollars worth of software. So all in all, my recommendations for the software that you should use is either Unreal Engine, uh, Unity, or Game Maker Studio, your engine of choice. Um, for photo editing software, Photoshop all the way, unless unless uh, you, you can't afford that $10 a month. Or, um, or if you're making 2D art that's pixelated, you might want to go with a sprite. Uh, 3D modeling software, Blender all the way. 3ds Max is very expensive, and Blender is a great option. I'm just saying my recommendation for your 3D modeling software is going to be Blender for sure. Uh, video editing software, uh, there are free solutions. Uh, some of them are hard to use, and I have had my fair share of using uh, free options, and they're not very easy, or they're very limited in their capabilities. My recommendation here is Magic's Vegas Movie Studio. Um, it's simple to use, it's very easy, and it doesn't take much uh, time to learn how to use. And music making, there are so many options there. Uh, do your research and really look into it. Uh, obviously do research on all the software that's here, that some of them have listed. There's so many different options out there, and I'm sure you'll find one software that will meet your need needs. But I do feel that these are the five groups of software that every indie game developer needs. So with that being said, um, if you like the video, leave a like, comment if you have anything to say. If you have any suggestions on software, do leave a comment. Um, I'm sure there are people that are going to be looking for software, and I, I, you know, helping them out to point them in the right direction would be incredibly helpful. I know I can't cover every piece of software that exists out here, and these are just my recommendations. So do comment if you have anything to say and any software recommendations. So, uh, yeah, uh, subscribe if you like the content that you're seeing and you'd like to see more game development content. And I'll see you guys in the next video.